you, you wrote a book, you've written several articles about patients um, where music alleviated and uh, helped them. And I'm going to ask you to talk about a couple. Um, there was a, one man who was struck by lightning. Does that ring a bell? Oh, indeed, yes. Because um, he had something, I don't know if you coined the word, you called your book by this word, and I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Muse, musicophilia. Yeah. How do you say it? Uh, musicophilia. Musicophilia. Um, no, and curiously, it's not in the dictionary, uh, love of music, although musicophobia, hatred of music, is in the dictionary. <laughs> And also musical mania is. But, but anyhow, I hope from now on musical filia will be. Well, tell us a story um, about the man who was struck um, by lightning. Um, well, he was and is an orthopedic surgeon upstate um, who, um, uh, who had no special interest in music and certainly no interest in classical music. Um, and in, uh, about 15 years ago, he was on the phone to his mother. This was before cell phones. He was uh, using a phone box. And uh, there was a storm approaching, um, which he paid little attention to. And then suddenly, a bolt of lightning came, and it leapt out of the phone and hit him in the face and threw him back several yards. And then he said something strange happened. He seemed to to rise, to levitate, and to be looking down on the ground, uh, face down from a height of six or seven feet. And he saw his motionless body on the ground and people trying to do cardiac resuscitation. And then he went on and had some other visions of a bright corridor and a bright light. Um, and then suddenly, and this corresponded with the fact that they, uh, that his heart had been restarted, suddenly he came back into his body um, with some regret because uh, this had really been a, a blissful experience. Um, and he said to the person who had revived him, he said, it's okay, I'm a doctor. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, and he refused an ambulance because he was a doctor. Um, <laughs> But the various uh, changes, um, his memory was interfered with a bit for two or three weeks. He had difficulty thinking of, of, of names and technical names. Um, but then that came back. But what was extraordinary was that this man, who had never had any interest in classical music, now had a, an overwhelming, devouring uh, passion for it, and for Chopin in particular. He, um, he, um, he sent for records and CDs. Uh, he then decided that he wanted to play, and he got himself a piano teacher and, um, and, and, and a piano, and, um, and then that he wanted to compose. And in fact, um, he is now, between orthopedic operations, going around various cities in upstate New York, playing his own compositions, um, 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 some of which try and, try and sort of re represent his coming to. So um, uh, I think when, um, one has to say that there was some potential or something latent in the man's brain which was sort of brought to life by the lightning. But it's, it's very, very strange, and, I, and we, ne we never really could, uh, could investigate it adequately. Thank <laughs> you.